Journey Through Time, Describing Historical Periods in English. Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today we are going on a journey through time. Our main focus will be describing historical periods and their characteristics in English. It's a fascinating topic that will not only boost your vocabulary but also broaden your cultural understanding. When we talk about historical periods, we are referring to specific eras or epochs in history. Each of these eras has its unique characteristics and events that distinguish it from others. Examples include the Stone Age, the Renaissance, the Industrial Revolution, and more. Today, we'll learn how to describe these periods effectively in English. When describing historical periods, there are some keywords and phrases that will be particularly useful. For instance, marked by, this phrase helps to express distinctive characteristics or events that occurred in a particular period. For example, the Renaissance was marked by significant cultural and artistic development. Characterized by, this is another useful phrase to mention the features of a certain era. Like, the Victorian era was characterized by strict societal norms and rapid industrial growth. Era, age, period, and epoch are all synonyms often used to describe these times in history. Now, let's delve into describing some specific historical periods. 1. The Stone Age. This prehistoric period was characterized by the creation and use of stone tools. 2. The Middle Ages. Also known as the Medieval Period, it was marked by feudalism, the dominance of the church, and the spread of the Black Plague. 3. The Renaissance. A period in European history characterized by a cultural rebirth and significant advancements in art, literature, and science. 4. The Industrial Revolution an era marked by the shift from agrarian societies to industrial and urban ones, characterized by technological advancements and changes in manufacturing. Remember, the more details you can provide, the richer and more compelling your descriptions will be. And that wraps up our journey through time. Remember, the key to mastering the description of historical periods in English is understanding the period itself and using the right vocabulary to convey its characteristics. Practice makes perfect, so don't hesitate to write or talk about these periods in your own words. We hope this video has been helpful and enjoyable for you. Until next time, keep learning, and keep practicing.